What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded. Just uh, been those rough, uh, windy winter months. You know, fishing hasn't really been that good. A uh, lot of winds, so haven't been able to get out much. But today I'm out here. Beautiful day. The wind starts picking up tomorrow for the next five days again. So I just had to get out today. Um, Easter Monday, just out here doing some reef fishing on the kayak, the Old Town Sportsman. And I've got the yellowtails fired up right now. Look, another one. They're just balled up underneath the boat. Literally every cast. Probably catch my limit real quick if I wanted to. I actually caught one trolling, yellowtail trolling. I missed it on camera because I was, wasn't even out here yet. But uh, just using some 15 pound leader, little yellowtail jig. My uh, 3500 pen slammer and ugly stick elite rod and all these yellowtail I don't even have to measure they gotta be 12 inches out here you can see I just got a little pink yellowtail jig there and I just caught a fresh little jack on a jig real quick cut up a bar jack that's a beautiful yellowtail all right so I got three now like I said I got one on the troll I got one uh, one first cast, one second cast, I just did the intro, and uh, I can kind of see them down there about like 20 feet below the boat, back in that chum slick. And the whole technique with yellow tailing is you just slowly feed it out in the chum slick with the current, and when a fish grabs it, it's just going to take off like that, you just close the bill and start reeling. You don't really want to set the hook, they got small mouths, and uh, you'll just rip the hook out of their mouth if you, uh, you set the hook on them. There's another good yellowtail. All these fish are uh, over keeper. This one might be a little close actually. Let's see. Whoop! Okay, he's gone. Yeah, that one was a little close actually, but uh, there's definitely more keepers down there. Uh, like I said, we're out here Easter Monday, which is pretty much the uh, middle of the spring. And the springtime is when the yellowtail snappers spawn. I could see that one, that one uh, I caught was spraying the yellowtail juice all over me. And uh, that's what they do this time of year. I literally don't even have to cut the video for you guys. I've been using the same piece of bait that I've caught all my fish on. I see a couple nice trigger fish down there. Be sweet to catch those. They don't count towards your snapper limit, obviously, which is 10 per person. See if I don't have to cut it again. Might have to put a fresh piece of bait on there. And for bait, I'm just using little cut pieces of this uh, little uh, bar jack I caught right here, which is a uh, unregulated species so um, keep as many as you want for bait you can see that kind of nibbled my bait down to barely anything so just get a fresh piece on there really not much to yellowtail fishing just kind of drift it back with the current and they'll pick it up go just want to get bait hooked right through the skin flip it back into the current a bit you can see how the currents actually decently strong so um, by the time your bait your baits gonna sink faster than the chum obviously so you want it to be down where the fish are so you just cast it back a little ways into your chum slick just keep slowly feeding it out One. one swam right to me pretty much. Another yellow tail. Ooh. 
unlock. That one should be a keeper as well. And that one's right there. We'll let him go. Got another one. I'm like barely cutting the footage here because uh, action's so hot. I'm just using two bags of chum. It's really all you need. And I should be able to catch all the yellowtail I need with this amount of chum. There's another one. That guy is good. 13 inches. Throw him in the box with the others. Be a smaller one. If they don't really pull any drag, you know it's probably going to be a smaller one. Still a yellow tail though. A little small. Got um feels like a better one, whatever it is. Might not be a yellow tail. That's a ocean tally. Oh cut me off. Damn. So for leader here, I'm just using 15 pound mono. And I just got cut off by that ocean tally trigger fish. So I'm switching to a J hook to give me a little bit of protection. Might put a tiny split shot on it as well. But the fish are coming up uh, pretty high in the water column. Forgot to mention, I'm in about 65, 70 feet right here. Uh, just uh, north of Molasses Reef Lighthouse, you can see all the boats over there in the lighthouse. So I'm kind of on the edge, reef area. Molasses Reef is pretty much a straight shot for my canal that I live in, so good option for me. But this time of year, pretty much any of the uh, uh, any of the reefs all along the Keys. You'll, have, you'll find yellowtail spawning on it. Got another one. I think it's a yellowtail, not a ocean tally though. I've seen a few of those ocean tallies back there. That'd be nice to catch one of those. Haven't eaten one of those in a while. Those are really good eating. Not that yellowtail aren't, but just don't get those ocean tally trigger fish that often. This is another nice yellowtail. Something's following them up. Bar Jack. Here we go. Definitely don't have to measure that one. That one's more like 15 inch. Beautiful yellow tail. That's something. It's yellowtail, it's a really good one, the way it's pulling. That yeah, it might be. Ooh, baby. Yep, nice yellowtail. Pulling my boat a little bit. A nice yellow tail. Get in here. Big fat yellow tail. Definitely the biggest one of the day right there. There we go. Fat yellow tail. Alrighty, so I just a whole bunch of Speedos just kind of took over the chum. You can see they're all next to my boat right here and a massive cuda came with them I should probably move this out of the way. So I just got one of these 
Speedos with a little gold hook right there. And come on. I'm trying to wrap this crap up. That Cuda is just sitting out over there on the surface. I can see him. All right, whatever, that's good enough. So I have this wire rod ready just with one treble hook and some wire. Hopefully that'll be enough. And Cuda should go right for it. Oh, he's already got him. Oh. I got him. He's going to go nuts. He got him in like two seconds. He doesn't even know he's hooked yet. It's like a four foot Cuda. Oh, Ooh, shit. He's gonna jump. Usually they'll jump. Just gotta keep that line tight. He's trying to bite above the wire probably. He still like really doesn't even know he's hooked. Look at him right there. Boost. You already given up, bud? I'm gonna go my other line. Got a mutton rod down. He might have already just kind of given up. Oh, he just cut me off. Oh no, he just came off. He's right there. Oh, that was weird. Just popped off. I like bent out the treble hook. Jeez, I've never had that happen. Dang, completely bent out my treble hook. Wow. Man. Now he's just sitting there. Weird. Look how close he is to my boat. He's just sitting right there. That's that one I had, I'm pretty sure. I think it's the same one. Looks like it. Literally just sitting right underneath my boat. You can see all the yellow tail and stuff back there too. The underwater camera down there. Round two on the Cuda here. You can see there's a massive one right here. Ooh, right there. Ooh, he just cut it in half. Got him. Ooh, got him. Yeah, buddy. Oh, he's still on there. Cudas just freak out when they first get hooked. I went a little lighter on the drag than I did on the last one because he uh, pulled the hook on the last one. This one's a little smaller. I got a mutton rod down right here, my bottom rod, so I'm just kind of waiting for that one to get hit. Might as well catch a cuda if they're here. Starting to run out of chum. There was a huge turtle that just went by back there. Come on, buddy. I literally just shot all the way to the bottom.
there he is. Stop. I choked both troubles, of course. Got him. Look at those teeth. There we go. Actually, we'll get the hooks out of them. Got something on. Went back to yellowtailing for a second here. So that's probably what it'll be, but uh, we'll see. Yep. The nice yellowtail. I'll probably count them up here. I should have, there should be another number eight or nine. And we gotta stop at 10 because that's our limit. All right, these are all of our yellow tails so far. I just double measured them and counted them. We got eight so far. Biggest one I got is this one, I think. Solid 15 incher. Doing good. Got one. The yellow tail looks like. up my braid. Ah, Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Got my limited yellowtail, uh, decent cuda, and I, I didn't get anything in the bottom rot. I think I had one nice mutton, but he, uh, he broke me off. There was a lot of action on the bottom, but I just couldn't hang the right one. Crystal clear water right on the reef, inside of the reef. You can see the tower out there, maybe. Just beautiful. I mean, it's like 25, 30 feet of water, and you can just make stuff out right on the bottom. Heading in right now. You got the long haul in. Now that it's summertime, well, spring. Summer is right around the corner. It's going to be getting calmer, less winds. I'll definitely be doing more offshore kayak fishing. So stay tuned. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.